not the Holy Ghost's job just to lift up Jesus. Answering the question, doesn't the Bible say that the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself? And this is very important because it's one of the things that is brought up to you immediately, either by the devil or possibly even by religious people or even your own thinking, that, well, if the Holy Ghost isn't, doesn't speak of himself, somehow he shouldn't be being worshipped. And a lot of the message here at the society is, well, you have to worship God, and God is the Holy Ghost. He's the only God in the earth today. And so you got to answer this question. You have to answer it solidly and from every angle so that there's no wiggle room in there. And that's what I'm trying to do is bring you up to the place where there's no wiggle room so you can't have any of these forces trying to get you off the solid foundation of Holy Ghost worship. So along with doesn't the Bible say the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself comes the conclusion that when he does or when the Holy Ghost does speak of himself he will only speak about Jesus it's one of the things I hear it's one of the things that will be brought up to you from people who if you mention that you worship the Holy Ghost will say well he doesn't speak of himself so you shouldn't worship him and if he does speak he will only be speaking about Jesus that's the only thing he will say he won't say anything about anything else unless he's saying something about Jesus and they get that from a verse we're going to be dealing with today it's the end of a string of verses in the book of John where it says that the Holy Ghost will glorify Jesus and that's true he does glorify Jesus but not in the way that they're implying which is wrong when he speaks it will only be uh, on that one trajectory the problem here is that people have started off on the wrong foot with these string of verses and then they ended up at the wrong conclusion I don't know if you've ever tried to kick a football or kick a, uh, a soccer ball you know for the people over the seas a football would be a soccer ball but here uh, if you if you have a, a a football out in front of you and you start off on the wrong foot then by the time you get to the ball and you're about ready to kick it you're at the wrong foot you're gonna you're gonna end up messing it up so you need to step on the right foot you step out with the right foot and then you end up in the right place with the right timing so what happened here by misinterpreting several verses of scripture that lead up to he will glorify Jesus because we've so botched up the interpretation of those scriptures we end up with a completely wrong interpretation and then it, it's saying something about the Holy Ghost that it's not saying at all it implies that the Holy Ghost is so shy and doesn't say much of anything ever and when he does speak it's only about Jesus that's the implication and that's how twisted we have these verses of scripture isn't it interesting that in the age of the Holy Ghost the dispensation of the Holy Ghost where the Holy Ghost is literally God in the earth today that the devil would propagate a lie that the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself and won't say anything on his own authority or won't do anything unless it's in complete subjection to this religious concept and where he'll he won't speak much anything but if he does he'll only say one thing and that'll be something about Jesus that's all he'll say well he does speak about Jesus but he also speaks about himself he has to because he's God in the earth today John chapter 16 and let's look at verse 7 this is Jesus talking and he says nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient or profitable for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you who's the comforter the comforter is the Holy Ghost the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you well that's the day we're in Jesus has departed he's not here anymore and he sent the another the another is the Holy Ghost this is the age and dispensation of the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today verse 8 and when he is come so that's the age we're in he is come he is come that we're in the is dispensation he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me well that's not you you believe on Jesus right 
of righteousness because I go to the Father and you see me no more where are we we're in the age of where the, the the Holy Ghost is reproving the world of sin he's instructing you in righteousness because Jesus isn't with you you need to walk with God in the righteousness that he instructs you in and of judgment because the prince of the world is judged I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now how be it verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth so here's Jesus he calls him the comforter and he calls him the spirit of truth when the spirit of truth he the spirit of truth is come which is our day and age he will guide you into all the truth how much truth is that is that just one portion of truth he will only speak about Jesus no he will speak about Jesus but he won't own he will guide you into all the truth if it's truth he will guide you how's he gonna guide you predominantly by leading you and guiding you but he's gonna speak about those things right if there's truth there he will speak only of those things let's read on he's the spirit of truth when he is coming he'll guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak of himself now remember this is what I've talked about for the last at least three messages online so you can revisit them he will shall not speak of himself it does not mean he's not gonna talk about himself it literally means he won't speak anything but the truth he is the spirit of truth Jesus said that he will guide you into all the truth he won't speak anything but the truth he won't speak away from that's really a better translation of that or in translation of that word of he won't speak of himself no he won't speak away from himself he is the spirit of truth he won't speak anything but the truth but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak again a botched translation it doesn't mean whatsoever he shall hear it literally means that word he isn't even in there it says whatsoever comes to the hearing whatsoever comes to the ears it's not whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak like he's just some kind of a a transmitter like some kind of a radio whatever comes in from beep 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 coming in from God beep beep got a message message coming in from God whatever I hear I gotta speak it I gotta speak it no that's not how it is it's a it's whatever you keep whatever comes to the ears that shall he speak it really means that's what he's saying so what to whatever degree you can hear he that has ears to hear let him hear he that what those things that you hear that's him speaking so really what Jesus is talking about is an operational sense of how this is gonna function he's the spirit of truth he's gonna guide you into the truth how's he gonna do it whatsoever comes to the hearing he that has ears to hear those inner ears when you hear the truth that's him speaking and you can go that's the truth that's him speaking that's what this is talking about not this goofy messed up stuff that everybody's been believing and preaching whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak really means whatsoever comes to the ear that's him speaking keep going here and he will show you things to come what are things to come things to come are the future so he's going to be speaking to you the things that come to your ears on the inside are going to be things that are leading and guiding and speaking about your future right so that can't possibly mean what other people are saying so now now this is saying that the Holy Ghost is going to be speaking all the truth he's going to speaking about the future it can't possibly mean unless you're taking the goofed up interpretation of what people are gonna say it's gonna talk about next because you got the Holy Ghost saying all of this stuff talking about himself is he the spirit of truth well he'll only talk about the truth right does he speak of himself let me just touch on this real briefly so we can make sure that we're on the right footing because if you're not on the right footing by the time you get up to verse 14 you're gonna be messed up and you're just gonna trip over the football and you're gonna wonder why you dropped it and why you lost the game 
it's because you didn't start out on the right foot you need to start out on the right foot that the Holy Ghost is talking about himself that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and that the Holy Ghost is the one leading and guiding into all the truth and he's and he's and he's the one doing things in the earth he does speak of himself second Peter 121 says every verse of Scripture is by inspiration of God and holy men of old wrote as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so the whole Bible any place in the Bible was inspired by the Holy Ghost which means if there's any place in the Bible that talks about the Spirit or the Spirit of God it is literally the Holy Ghost talking about himself he does speak of himself first Timothy 4 1 says the Spirit speaks expressly revelations 2 chapter 2 and chapter 3 over and over says hear what the spirit is saying to the church who's saying to the church the spirit is saying to the church he's leading he's guiding he's showing the future he's bringing you into the future by speaking words into you i hope you heard that because you can't get to the right future with the right trajectory without the right words going into you 1 Corinthians 12 11 talking about all the gifts of the Spirit in your Bible written and inspired by the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost talking about not wanting you ignorant of all the gifts of the Spirit so the Holy Ghost is talking about himself and then 1 Corinthians 12 11 says it's as he wills as who wills as the spirit wills. so he's doing it under his own authority and here we see over and over again that Jesus sent the Holy Ghost not just to come here and beep 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 beep, beep just transmit a couple of things that he somehow has ability no he sent the Holy Ghost here with authority as God in the earth today to do as he sees fit and as he wills because one of the inter bad interpretations of that verse 13 in John chapter 16 is that um, he won't speak of his own authority he won't speak of himself and he won't speak on his own authority and if that's the way you're interpreting this you're gonna be completely off on the wrong footing and you're gonna end up in the wrong place you're not gonna end up with walking with a living God who's God in the earth today you're gonna be walking with a religious God who just is very shy and sometimes speaks but not very often and but when he does speaks all he speaks about is Jesus and the cross and you're gonna be messed up most people are messed up because they don't know how to walk with the Holy Ghost the Living God who's God on the earth today so that being said let's read now down verse 14 John chapter 16 verse 14 he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and show it unto you so here we have Jesus saying that the Holy Ghost is gonna glorify Jesus is that is, did it say that that's all he's gonna do it couldn't unless you're just gonna ignore all of the stuff that went before it all these other verses and just go no he is a glorified Jesus and when he comes he's just gonna speak one thing and, and what he says now the, the problem is because you ended up at this verse with your wrong interpretation of the verses before it you're gonna end up in a religious world that is powerless because the religion and traditions of men make the Word of God of no effect make it powerless what these people do is is they'll say that the Holy Ghost will glorify Jesus meaning and um, he won't speak of himself I hope I'm getting this across this is sometimes difficult because you're treading on you're treading on people's religious concepts if think of this if I started off with the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself and won't speak of his own authority right and then I come to this verse 14 having come from verse 13 where the Holy Ghost won't talk about himself he won't even mention himself he will only mention Jesus and then I get to verse 14 and goes and I, I've now I'm saying he shall glorify me so now I'm completely messed up I'm really in religious world because now I have an image of the Holy Ghost who not only won't speak of himself he will only speak about Jesus and only glorify him do you see that that's where most people are 
that's how they got there they wrongly interpreted and started off on the wrong foot with the verses before it and then when they got to he shall glorify me they were completely messed up and they just dropped the ball they tripped over it he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you I want you to look with me if you can because this this is the logical conclusion wrong but logical conclusion that someone with the who stepped out on the wrong foot and ended up on he shall glorify me their logical conclusion leads them to this and I've heard this before many many times John chapter 12 verse 30 true and I if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me if I be lifted up well so if I wrongly have interpreted he shall glorify me I'm going and that the Holy Ghost won't speak anything of himself but he'll only glorify Jesus that means lifting him up I'm gonna lift up Jesus I mean I'm not gonna say anything and all the words I say are just gonna lift up Jesus I'm gonna put Jesus up you can do that I'm gonna lift up Jesus see I'm gonna lift him up and I have a verse of scripture here that I can also wrongly interpret to support my other wrongly interpreted verse that the Holy Ghost won't do anything except lift up Jesus and if I lift up Jesus all men will be drawn I'm lifting up Jesus all men will be drawn well you know with just some common sense will tell you that that's not what that verse of scripture is talking about what is it talking about if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me and what what this is literally saying Jesus was beginning to talk about him being lifted up on the cross and if he's lifted up on the cross then all things all men will have to go through that cross to be cleansed of their sins it's not the, the only thing I can talk about is lifting up Jesus I'm just gonna lift up Jesus I'm gonna say this people aren't gonna like it but I'm gonna say it anyway it's not the Holy Ghost's job just to lift up Jesus he's got he's God in the earth today Jesus was lifted up and in that sense it doesn't mean that he isn't he isn't going to talk about Jesus he isn't going to reveal the things that Jesus did of sin of judgment of righteousness he's doing all of these things but it's not his only job just to lift up Jesus and if you do that if you put him in that religious box you are limiting the Holy One of Israel you're limiting the Holy One you're limiting the Holy Ghost that's one thing he does is lift up Jesus and and show people that their need of a Savior if you're saved you don't need a Savior anymore then what once you got saved what do you need now then you need to learn how to walk in righteousness with the Holy Ghost our religious conception and how we got on the wrong foot and got up to that verse of scripture where the Holy Ghost just he won't he will just glorify Jesus that's it that what that does if we take that religious conception of the Holy Ghost then we're just gonna end up at the cross and we're gonna stay there John chapter 3 verse 14 as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the Son of Man be lifted up Who's this, what's this talking about lifting up here lift as Moses how did Moses lift up the serpent he took a serpent a fiery serpent and he put it up on a post it was a type of Jesus so just as Moses took a serpent and put it up on the post so must the Son of Man be lifted up and put on a post is that what the Holy Ghost did is that the Holy Ghost's only job is to lift up Jesus with his words and he will only say things that lift up Jesus it's ridiculous it is completely absurd in light of the rest of Scripture and the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today to take that interpretation frankly it's insulting to me so let's move on here lifting up is not by talking about if I come into a group and of people and I only say things that are gonna lift up somebody I'm just gonna talk about Jesus I'm gonna lift him up he's great Jesus is great there's no doubt Jesus is great but that's not what this is talking about the lifting up the lifting up was specific to the cross John chapter 16 verse 14 he shall glorify me he who the Holy Ghost shall glorify me now if we get here on the right footing if we get here 
by going through the right steps stepping out on the right footing that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's speaking truth he's speaking only the truth he's showing you the future he's when you hear something specific in your spirit it's him speaking those things to you if we get here in that capacity and he shows you things to come he shall glorify me we add that onto it how's he glorifying Jesus for he shall receive of mine and show it unto you how he's doing the same that's just another step in the great things that the Holy Ghost is doing he is now taking the things that Jesus bought and paid for and revealing them to you transmitting them to you and showing them unto you so that you can walk in the fullness of all that God has bought and paid for how does that glorify Jesus because that was the point that's why Jesus came so that you could he wouldn't have to you don't have to die on the cross you don't have to pay the price for sins you don't, you don't have to live in sickness and disease or in poverty you are now going to walk in the fullness with the Holy Ghost in all that Jesus bought and paid for and we have we have a message online about that it's part of what we do here at the society we walk with the Holy Ghost in all that Jesus bought and paid for why because it glorifies him it makes him happy right that's where we had to get to but we started out on the wrong foot by thinking that the Holy Ghost can't say anything he can't speak of himself he had just some kind of perverted twisted quiet shy personality it's not him at all he's bold he's strong he's God in the earth today and when we learn to walk with him correctly he will glorify Jesus because he'll be able to bring to you and that word right there I like to use the word transmit unto you he literally puts into you all the things that Jesus bought and paid for when we learn to walk with him correctly as God in the earth today let me bless you father in Jesus name I bless these people online let them be healed and prospered and delivered and let them walk in all that Jesus bought and paid for with you Holy Ghost we thank you in Jesus name Amen